David, I'm going to talk to you about our top three here. Maybe you give us an assessment, your honest assessment of it. Uh, Dungannon man, same as myself, Darren Clark. How would you assess Darren? Well, I tell you, we got paired with Darren um, uh, at the start of the year. It was down in Durban. And he's lost a lot of weight. So, in other words, he's got a new lease of life now, you know. So, you know, whether he was kind of enjoying himself after the Open, I mean, naturally, that was like such the, the like far and away the highlight of his career. And maybe he kind of like, you know, well, I'm going to enjoy that, that whole experience and kind of took his foot off the pedal. It was understandable, you know. But anyway, he's back this year and he's looking so trim. And so therefore he's got a, he's obviously in his mind that he's back to compete again. And he did, he played very well. He played, I mean, he was pretty impressive now when we were with him. So um, I don't know if he's ever, if he's past, he might be past his peak, but his peak was high anyway. So he can, he can still be a force. And and and, uh, and as I say, that by losing the weight, he's he's got a mind where he wants to, he wants to go somewhere. It was interesting when you talk about that in the open too. You know, you looked at Darren Clark after all the years playing in the Gannon and playing in Portrush. You know, in the wind, everything he hit just seemed to bounce left towards the hole, whereas other lads were bouncing right and going away. Everything seemed to go for him at the open. It just seemed to sit in. As you talk about confidence and things going your way. Well, you know something. <clears throat> um, I was working for Chris, a guy called Chris Wood. Um, and it was like six weeks before that Open that Darren won. Darren was going head-to-head -head against Chris Wood to win. It was in Mallorca, the Mallorca Open. The last day, it was blowing an absolute gale. And the first hole on this golf course, it just indicates Darren's control in the wind. The first hole is straight out of bounds left, and it's out of bounds right. It's like playing a first at Port Rush. It's like there's no bailout here. It's absolutely a horror start, and it's howling into, you know. Well, Darren has hit this... Like as a chipped driver, I actually asked him about the shot, and it's just like a three-quarter swing chipped the driver down. The ball comes out; it wouldn't even be the height of this ceiling, and it just bores through the wind, and down it goes. And I, there's not many people can play that shot, but you know that's that's you know, when it was came to sandwich and it was blowing hard that week, and you could sort of see he was all he had the the perfect armory to to deal with that, you know. And there you go.